Nicole Brown Simpson died steps away from her Los Angeles condo. And while the bloodstains on the sidewalk are gone, the Brentwood home's dark past remains. Just after midnight on June 13, 1994, Nicole's dog led neighbors to the bloody bodies of Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman. Someone had brutally stabbed them to death and slashed her throat. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Nope. Did not do it. A little over a year after a jury acquitted the late O.J. Simpson, Nicole's ex-husband, the condo finally sold. Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder. After some landscaping and an address change to try to obscure its history, the home again sold in 2006, per the Los Angeles Times. Kim Cooper, a true crime historian, told the Times in 2016, if a crime is notorious enough, there is a very real danger that the structure will be demolished or altered to preserve the property value and deter sightseers. The condo, located on Bundy Drive in Los Angeles, is a 3,400-foot, eight-room structure with four bedrooms, three-and-a-half baths, and a two-car garage. This is Nicole's house. Nicole bought it in January 1994 for $652,000. Not long after the murders, her family put the home up for sale. Speaking to ABC News in 2006, Denise Brown said that after the murders, her sister's home had an empty, lonely feeling. You know, something was missing, and it was my sister. The condo sat in the market for two and a half years and finally sold in December 1996, not long before a civil trial jury found O.J. Simpson responsible for the deaths of his ex-wife and Ron Goldman. The family had the help of economist and appraiser Randall Bell, an expert in helping to sell infamous properties. Even so, the condo sold for less than Nicole had paid for it. The next owner, an unnamed Los Angeles lawyer, got the place for $595,000. A decade after the murders, the condo got a new owner, who paid $1.7 million for the infamous property, according to TMZ. The home, which had been drawing tourists since the murders, saw an explosion of rubberneckers in 2016, after the FX show People vs. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story aired. Detective Lang, you took evidence from a crime scene. You drove it home and didn't book it until the next day. Yes. Neighbors complained to TMZ that there was a significant increase in foot and vehicle traffic on the street as the series ran. The home reportedly continues to be a mecca for true crime buffs, as does the site of O.J. Simpson's former mansion, also in Brentwood, even though it no longer exists. The new property owners tore down O.J. Simpson's mansion back in 1998, replacing it with a new home, massive hedges, and signs warning of a guard dog, according to the New York Times. But the former condo of Nicole Brown Simpson, where she tragically lost her life, still stands.